you in just a second there. The, um, the pawn guard fight tonight will be... Pawn guard, pawn guard versus blame Elias. It's nine Don't fingers, life hacks, and Jack Hook are doing that one. Kunbleda and Iberk Aiden, thank you for the followers. Get it, guys. Welcome to the clan. Appreciate it. Yeah, Nine Fingers is doing that one tonight. That is that is very, very, very late on tonight. But he will be doing that. Oh no, it's not actually late on, is it? It's very, very soon actually. It's a pretty early fight. I could have did that one too. Damn it. Nobody asks me anymore. Nobody asks me. The Almighty says this must be a fashionable fight. It's drawn the finest. Furkan, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the clan. I appreciate it. Guys, I know these are a little bit delayed from when you're hearing it, when you're seeing it, but please pay attention in the chat. You have to be a follower of the channel to win CB Rivals. It's the code and your chance to win 30 days of premium, which will help for the start of the season, definitely. There's a couple of fights going on in the background with other casters. You have Nine Fingers, you have Coffee Fuel Gaming, Mr. Nara. We're all currently streaming um, different games, so make sure you check out the other casters and the other content creators of the game for CB Rivals. There will be more games to follow this one as well. This is my last game of the night, the last battle as well. This is Cephos versus Banished. Cephos with the 1-0 advantage here at this moment in time. They were defending first up, now they are on the attack. And as you can see, unit-wise, we will see what's going on here. Let's go. Lots of cavalry out. Lots of cavalry out. And they're actually planning to defend A at this time around. So they've got lots of cavalry, and they're going to try and defend A. Sure can, thank you for the follow. You look slayed today, Mark. Yo, Neva, how you doing, buddy? So, Cephos are defending A and B. Are they going to be going to try to defend A and B. Sorry, not Cephas, Banished are. Banished are paying attention to the walls, they're, they're not paying attention to anything else. You've got a couple of heroes trying to get up on the background here, you've got Zajib, the Jewel Blade, Yamshid and Hamel just chucks Damian off the wall, it's everybody just fighting up on Ariana now. There, Ariana falls, there's three heroes alive, Damian's got nothing he could do apart from heal up well, Zajib goes after him but gets up of the stairs quickly. Hamel will be waiting at the top of the stairs for Damian as soon as Zajeb comes up. The rotation here from some heroes just to make sure Jean of Arc is trying to like sneak around the back here, the glaive. Hamel, Damian dies when he gets back up the top of the stairs. He didn't have enough health. Born Ludbrook's going to try and push out. FDS Light's trying to force himself up here as well. If they overcommit here, this could be dangerous. There's already two heroes dead. Oh, Cephos are just baiting out players to die at this point in time. There goes Simka. They've got one back. It's down to 13 versus 13. There we go. Jean of Arc died as well. So we were down to 12 on the defense, 13 on the attack. But that is definitely just a deterrent. Just to kind of people take people away from their units so they can't control their units. But decent, decent work in there done. Decent work. They're defending the point, but... Units and heroes are pushing up onto the wall here. B is going to start getting capped at this point in time now because there is no point in defending B. It's too treble, far too open um, for the major trebs here. But Cephos guys portion out and uh, yeah, at this point in time, Arbana is going to just totally retreat here and get back into the home point here. Yeah, there we go. There's that. That's that is B taken. Joan of Arc still fighting down here. Anne Frank and Cupid might actually fall here as well. But Cupid running under the pike, he might actually get away. He's all right. The Javs Cav doing some work. Went on down the units uh, at the start here. Lots of Jav Cav just getting used in this battle here. Jav Cav are great. Like I love Jav Cav. They are so use useful certain times. I get mine's killed quite too often though, but. Um, yeah, definitely a good idea there. Senji's putting in work there on the, the defensive side of Banished as well to stop the units pushing down the stairwell there. But that's not a bad job. Not a bad job here. They have lost B, but B is always going to be lost fairly quickly on this map. As you can see, Cephos trying to go around the wall here. Cephos flying around the wall. 
Go to beta try and see if you can push down towards that supply point. Once you've got that supply point, then you can start making a, a move on another area of the map. Hey, they're going towards A or potentially going to the next supply point and then blocking off their supplies. Ariana's down there with grey hairs though at the bottom of the stairs just defending them with her longsword or with their longsword and then all the rotation of banished players jumping onto the supply point and uh, the A point so they're already they're, they're rotating between them all as you can see Sephos trying to set up from where they're going to attack you've got Jamal going around in the back here from Sephos you've got Zajib and uh, the longbow Lachelle trying to do some work here. Ariana dries. Ariana for a long sword does not survive that long. Considering T is wiped out there and now the push is coming down the stairs. Lots of units have been rotated off here though. Lots of heroes have rotated off. Athena goes down but there's a treb coming in. A pre-treb on that supply point. I don't know how much of that area is trebable. But it does come in from the side there quite nicely. Does wipe some units there on that see oh my god that was actually really well done three full balls of treb get onto that point there and take out some of the units there but not majorly two trebs used but a good good wee effort to to pull a lot of players away from the Ceph uh the cephos guys there but not bad banished doing a decent job of rotating back and forward they're just focusing on the gate here and the supply point to the left the supply point be on the left being really crucial to them just now because if cephos get that then that opens a full new can of worms from you being flanked and uh, getting pushed from the stairs and from behind. You don't want that. You definitely, definitely don't want that. So just constant rotations here. Still Armagers out and about in the back match as you can see. Uh, well, we've got some Cataphract Lancers getting used. We've got some Flamers, Iron Reapers, some Cephos attack. We've got some IPGs. Um, Plenty of IPGs there on the defense. Plenty still has got the Jav Cav out. Lots of the Jav Cav. Some grey units and green units out there as well. Defenders so they don't use their good units too early on. Uh, pretty pretty clever strat to be honest. It makes it look like there's numbers out there. But it's not a major a major unit getting lost uh, very early on. Um, a lone sword over there alone. Funny enough. Getting uh, Anne Frank in that. Trying to go and push up on them. Just to try and keep them away as the stairs are getting now pushed. Both all sets of stairs, units are going down. So you've got Scabies on the left hand side, you've got Jean of Arc on the main stairwells along with the other side push. So they're going to try and pinch the A point here at this point. I'm going to probably watch that push because the other push on the supply point has gone. So we'll move down here. Sefer dies. Zajib, there's a good strong push coming in from both ends. As you can see, Sefer's pushing all their malls in. Malls are swinging. But here comes the cavalry shards. That cavalry charge looks like it might have just got wiped there from the IPGs. The IPGs marched almost instantaneously. As soon as that cap charge hit, A will be start getting capped. Is Banish going to overcommit here? Or are they just going to leave it and get themselves back and survive and set up for the home point? Ariana trying to hold off his longsword here. Flamers firing all their flames at the point here. But A will fall. Cephos will pick up A and they will start chasing the heroes that are trying to retreat self back so you've got Cupid here doesn't want to get too close here you better to retreat there never miss better to get away as well yeah Cupid gets away but Lornbrook did not get away C and A will be ca capped almost one after the other simultaneously there we go both got capped and now it's now time to set up if they're quick never miss Sephos and Hamo and all that, they get in there really quickly, but the gates are closed, so we're okay. They're not going to be able to get in really quickly, thankfully. Lots of the heroes are back. Maul's waiting at the side there, but who's going to grab who? Which one's person is going to do it? There's lots of heroes pushing here, but there's no setup of the defense here. Sephos get a free gate inway. There is nothing to defend there. IPGs are already pre-marching, and then there's more units all coming in the main gate. Are we going to get a double push here? Nope, we're just coming in the main gate. Here comes a cavalry charge. It sounds like cavalry, but they're not really doing much. It's so noisy, considering. Cephos getting pushed out slightly, but Iron Reaper's doing the work. Pre-treb on the javelins. Imperial Jav's doing some throws here, but picking up some units as the heroes push in. There is a lot more heroes presence in the in this open gateway than there is for the defense so the defense need to start rotating around other directions here you've got Ho Ho here you've got a lot of Cephos guys 
He's trying to bait them out in the back here as well. So, a lone sword here. There's too many people defending this side, I think. And too many people going around the main point. That point is going to get trebbed constantly, but... Banish did a good rotation. There's still 11 trebs to be used. Sephos pushing in the right-hand side here. They've got Senjis. They've got... Oh, no, it's Tertios. They've got Tertios. Oh, no, it's Senjis. Senjis fighting here. Cupid getting himself caught out. It's Cupid. Tertio versus Tertio. Senjis versus Senjis here. Here comes another grenade throw in there from the Banish guys. And they have won that small push there. That's the small battle win there. We're still pretty even on units as well. 812 on the defense versus 880 on the attack. Good amount of work. But uh, just a wee bit of extra defenders available. There's 10 versus 13 defenders. So Cephas are going to re reset up. Re recuperate. Make sure they get all their units back to health. Get their units all set up, ready to go again. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is the malls trying to grab the heroes and chuck them off the wall. Once they're done, there's one done. Damian getting chucked off the wall once again, but he manages to escape as he's a short sword. Would have been better if they grabbed Anne Frank. More of the short swords coming up on the wall. Scabies. Plenty of Polacks up here on the defensive side. But they have got a set of unit of IPGs up on the wall. So the unit of IPGs might be a deterrent. It is Iron Reapers on the wall, so that will stop the unit of IPGs going. But here comes IPGs coming from behind. Bubbles has seen it. He's going to send the unit of I uh, small unit of Iron Reapers in the charge. The IPGs are going forward. They're marching. There's it, go there's it getting used now. Now the Cephos guys might have used that a little bit too early. The next set of IPGs can come in now. And if they charge now... They could put in some work here on the wall. They've got past the treb. The treb will miss them. But the IPGs all retreated. Iron Reapers on the attack for uh, Cephos actually win that battle against the charging Iron Reapers of uh, Banished, which was interesting there. I don't understand how that even happened unless they charged pretty much the same time. So much going on. Both ways getting attacked here. Retired King. Defending with his heart. You see the mall in the background. He's actually trying to take as many units out of the way as possible. But Sephos in the back here. Never miss. He's slowly getting in. I'm going to zoom right out because there's going to be a lot of fights going on in here. Scabies is in here in the back. But good rotations from Banish. John of Arc. Couple of heroes on the point. FDS has to stay there. He can't come off of the point. Stay on the point with a unit. And stay surviving that. Sephos is going to send the Trebs in point. There is nine Trebs left still available. Plenty of units on the point. Now... Getting there for Cephos. They are slowly moving their modal forward. And then they're going to be able to block off that main center. Getting the Trebin way. There's more heroes here on the side of Cephos. They're definitely needing to rotate in and out here. Ariana gets onto the point as the longsword. You now need FTS Light to jump back on that point here. He's too busy focusing Retired King. But Retired King stopped from getting on the point. There he goes. FTS stops that for a second. But there's lots of ranged units on the wall here for Cephos. Heroes are going to have to rotate, but there's no units coming for the defensive side. They're coming through the trebable area, and most of the units are getting trebbed. Negative comes in the back here, though, with a nice charge of palace guards. The palace guards does their work. They get onto the point. They've slowly pointed, and they're braced, ready. But they're also going to get pinched here from the guys coming in from the gateway of Sephos. So this is... They're definitely pinching back and forward. It's a very close fight, this one. Banish doing a great job. Sephos also doing... A good job of it. We're almost even on unit kills. Heroes are going though for Banish. Banish are down to 8. 11 on the attack. So we are very close. But it looks like it's working in the favour of Cephas here. Heroes are still going down. Couple of trebs available. Fort Abrasio move forward here with Javelin Sergeants in the background. The Javelins are going to chuck a throw in here as well. Take out a couple of units. FTS falls to his death. We are down to 9 heroes alive now. They're slowly getting back in, but the point will be starting to get capped. There's more heroes here. Nobody available on the side of Banish to get any units onto the point. Sephos blocking off that point. Damian gets in. Ho Ho gets in. There's a unit of calf coming in from the back here, but that's all on Sephos' side. There is no units in terms of Banish's side available. We're 360 units, but we don't see any of them on the map. I the unit at the back are just ranged. They're not going to manage to do anything. They've also had to try and 
lose their cap, but Sephos will pick up this on the attack. Banish did a valiant job, but Sephos picks up the win. It is 2-0 to Sephos, and to Sephos take the victory. Zabjeb with the top MVP on the side of the attackers here. Jamstead with 10 hero kills as well as the musket player. Plenty of assists in between them all as well. Once again, John of Acton, loads of assists here. No, no kills. Everybody's pinching him from him. That's unlucky there. Uh, but very good job there. Damian, you've seen him. He was getting launched off walls. He was jumping in. He was getting himself killed. But he was also defending as valiantly as he can. Sending the units, 135 unit kills on the defense. It was a solid defense from um, the Banish guys. Very, very unlucky. But... It was pretty close, I'm not going to lie, a lot closer than it was on the, the attack side of things. You're looking here on the defense, 33 heroes killed versus the 47 on the attack, so they're very close in numbers. Unit numbers, the uh, defense have lost a little bit more, almost 300, well 300 more, but you know what? That was that was a very valiant effort there, guys from Banish. They're definitely better showing than I was expecting there on the defense, well done for that. Guys, if you predicted Cephos for the win, you are most likely 100% correct and you will be winning that outcome there. Sephos wins and the prediction is paid out. Very well done to that guys. Very well done. They pretty much held you off there on the end their point and you know what? GG to them. The tribes were used exactly when they needed to. They got into the points where they needed to and that is it. They they won that one. That was a that was a grand old job, Sephos. Uh, very well done. Good rotations, and you know what? They're very good at picking off players when they need to, finding out the right places, the the right times to do the the pinches, and uh, pretty much win that battle for them. That was a uh, very well done.